Have you ever just looked at the app search results, seen two packages looking very similar and arbitrarily pick one, hoping it doesn't break your system? Well, I have. I've been pretty lucky so far, but that's not always going to be the case. Repositories can be managed by anyone, and some maintainers are more diligent than others. It's always a risk trusting a third-party repo. Yes, Google will probably keep maintaining, but what about Joe Blow's app? There are so many examples of failed Linux distributions out there, and I can guarantee you there are just as many, if not more, repo maintainers that have failed out there. So how can you get more information on a package? This is B from Tay Talk Tech, and today I'm going to show you how to get information about a package from your package manager in one command. Before I get into that, though, I do have a favor to ask. If you like this type of video and want to see more content like this, make sure you're subscribed and hit the bell button for notifications. Also, don't forget to give this video a like if you like it. Give it a dislike if you didn't like it. Lastly, let me know what you liked, didn't like, or if you have any questions uh, down below in the comments. Let's do this thing. All right, so let's go ahead and run an app search uh, inquiry here. We're just going to do net tools so we get one that's got fewer outputs. All right, so cool. Let's look at this. We got five results here. Now we can see what we search for, which is right here. So that's going to be the one that we're looking for. But look at these other ones. You got three that are dash tools. You've got one that's IP route, so network oriented. And then you have Hobbit plugins. Um, yeah, well, at least it has something to do with the network. It says network, uh, it says plugins for X Xemon network monitor. But hey, it's got a cool name, right? Hobbits. Everybody likes Hobbits, I think. I don't know. But yeah, we can see that it's like giving us information, but it just gives us kind of like a small little, you know, blurb. But what if I want to know more information about it? What if, what if I've got five different things with almost the exact same name, but and they all have the exact same little blurb there? Well, I want more information. So today you're actually going to get a 3-4. So the commands that we're going to be covering today are actually going to cover... Um, they're going to cover both Debian and Ubuntu-based distributions, as well as Fedora and Red Hat. So we're going to be going over the apt package manager, the DNF package manager, and Snap. Uh, apt is the one that's most associated with Debian and Ubuntu-based distributions. DNF is the one that's associated with Red Hat and Red Hat and Fedora distributions. And then Snap is going to be a package manager that is run and maintained proprietarily, proprietarily by Canonical. Um, but can be used on pretty much any distribution by installing whatever package manager install snapped snap D. Uh, it's, it's a pretty cool tool. Uh, there's some controversy about it, but I'm not getting into that because it works for me and I just really don't care. Uh, so yeah, but prior to running these commands, you want to make sure that you have the full package name. And as we can see from this output, why, you know, say if the, say that one of these was nets tools, one net tools, tool, net tools, three net tools, four and net tools, five. Well, which one am I supposed to pick? You know, again, that's where this tool is going. This command is going to come in handy for you. Now, the information is going to differ based on the package manager. Some are going to give more information. Others, uh, usually, DNF and app give pretty good amount of information. But you get to you know one like Snap, and you're not going to get as much information. So just be mindful of that. Now, let's go ahead and actually get into the commands here. Let's clear this out. I've already got the names for these. We're going to do start off with apt info vim. And you're going to see it gives us a ton of information here. I shouldn't say a ton, but it gives us quite a bit of information. It gives us the package name, gives us the version, gives us the origin, maintainer, original maintainer, vertiport bugs, installed size, dependencies, home page. Gives us uh, download size. It also gives us the app source location, and then it gives us the description. And sometimes you may see this down here at the bottom where it says add. One, uh, there's one additional record. Please add the tack a switch to see it. I'm not going to add that here, but just keep in mind you can do that. Sometimes it'll add like literally like one line, so it may not even be useful. So that's why I don't want to cover it here. So let's now go ahead and go on to snap. So let's go ahead and do snap info in vim now this is not exactly vim because snap doesn't actually have a um vanilla vim so we're going with this it's just an enhanced version of vim there's tons of these out there but let's just pretend it's vim for purposes of this video and see here we actually get quite a bit of information it gives us like the name summary publisher store url uh who to contact for which is pretty helpful you know if you're having any errors with it you can contact this person um, yeah, and it's got a bunch of other information on it, snap ID, channels, 
Yeah, so you can get quite a bit of information. Uh, it's, it even gives you the, it's NeoVim, it gives you all the information that you could, you know, want to know about the description there. So yeah, that's super helpful. Now, let's go ahead and go on to DNF. So DNF, you're going to see, is very similar to apt. Uh, where is the, whoops, I think I may have gone up too far. Yeah, it put a bunch of information here for a, oh, yeah, that's right. I'm sorry. It, I forgot about the pure amount of like options there are for this, but here we go. This is like the one that we're actually looking for is this one right here. So it's given a, like that's that, and I apologize about that. That was from my search previously that just, I got a little overwhelmed there in the, in the output. I'm human. And here we go. Here's our command. And then here's got our description down here. It's got the name, version, release, uh, architecture, size, source, repository, uh, summary right there, URL, license. And then it's also got a description there. So yeah, this is great. Like now, like, you know, say if all three of these were together, we'd be able to tell them apart. Or, you know, we may be able to see that they're exactly the same because we're looking at three different package managers. Hey, you know, right? So now you know how to get information uh, on a package in one single command. For more information on any of these package managers, visit the man pages for the uh, for the associated uh, package manager. And I really want to thank you very much for watching my video and have the greatest of days.